veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame What up gang, what up squad, it's your girl Needle B A.K.A. Young Show, A.K.A. Back with another video, man Look, if this y'all first time coming across my channel and clicking on this video Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, man And go on, like the content And everybody else, man, welcome back, man So look Man, it's been a week for me, man. Come on, man. But today, I'm coming to y'all with a little mukbang, you know what I'm saying? Just to sprinkle a little love on y'all day, you know what I'm saying? Everything is good. Everything is fine. Long as you wake up in the morning, you gonna shine. You feel me? I'm trying to spread some motivation and some positivity on y'all. So, uh, let's get into this video. <laughs> right now, man, I done went to Taco Beasy. I got me a little Cravings box. I ain't had Taco Bell in a long time. <laughs> it's been about six some months since I even came to Taco Bell. And I done seen they done added some new stuff on the menu. And I said, why not, man? It ain't like I eat out every day anymore. Because, you know, I'm trying to stay a little bit more healthy in my eating. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm going to do a mukbang for y'all with this Taco Bell. So, yeah, like I said, I got a box. It comes with a gardita. Yeah, I think that's what this called. It's called a gardita. Hold on, what's my receipt? On my receipt, it say, boom, this is what it is. I got a burrito, a burrito, <laughs> a grilled chicken burrito, salsa verde. Never, I don't know what that is. That's new. A chalupa, a beef chalupa. And I got a crunchy taco, natural crunchy taco, and I got some chips and some cheese. And I got that blueberry electric slush. So this is my first time trying at least two or the three things in this box. I didn't had a gardita before. I know what a gar why I keep calling this a gardita. <laughs> a chalupa. I didn't had a chalupa before, but I ain't never had this new burrito thing that they got popping off in this thing. So before we get into any of that, man, let's pray over this food. Because, you know, Taco Bell has some people's stomach bubbling sometimes. You know, how you run into the bathroom. And when I get into the store, I'm about to tell y'all, man, y'all going y'all gonna to say be careful. Because the way all my life set up right now, man, when the devil try to get you down, you can't give up. But I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about. So let me just, let me just pray on this food so y'all can know what I'm getting to. You feel me? So without further ado, bow your head. Please. You. Bow your head. Bow. Bow. Amen. All right. Before I get into my uh story, let me look at this. Let me let me let me just look at this salsa verde burrito. Cause I ain't never heard it. Oh, it's grilled. Duh, it's that grilled chicken. Stop playing so much. Stop playing so much with yourself, girl. Okay, so it's sealed. So, ooh, it's a little, it's a little. They put, I guess they put some little sauce right there to try to seal it. What's in here? Let me get in there. Okay, so I got some rice, some grilled chicken, some cheese. It look a little plain. And some salsa. I guess there's salsa in there. So, like we do all the time, I got some hot sauce. We're going to try it with the sauce and without the sauce. With the sauce and without the sauce. I'm going to go without the sauce first. Alright, we're going to bust this thing open so we can really see what's in the inside of this thing. It didn't give me the pull I want it, but oh, you got oh, I lost my damn chicken. <laughs> I lost the chicken. No, I don't give you nothing but a little teaspoon. All right, y'all know how Taco Bell do. They give you more bread than some straight. But come on, let's take it to the head. I always gotta make some rhyme. <laughs> I always make it rhyme. It's not on purpose. It's just, it's natural for me. Let me <laughs> Whew. Let's get into this. This 
This don't taste like nothing. Didn't I say it looked plain? That's exactly what it tastes like. Let me see the hot sauce. Now I see why I ain't been to Taco Bell in about six months. I ain't been missing nothing. Mm -mm. Let me see. Let me see. Something. Something gonna bring this alive. Let me try this natural tea. Something gonna bring it alive. There you go. Boom. There you go. There you go. Yeah, when well, y'all come to Taco Bell, don't get this. <laughs> Stick to what you know. Let me try this electric. I said it's electric. I call it a bee. It's a blueberry electric. Ooh. Ah. Now I see. Ooh. Brain free. You know how I hit you in the throat. I. Ah. Ah. Now I see why they call it electric. It's tart. It got a tart in it. It's like a blueberry tart, just kind of like, kind of like, like some lightning. It's good though. I can mix the blueberry. Yep. No, blue raspberry. Let me get my berries right. It's a blue raspberry. And this, yeah. Blue raspberry with the electric in the bottom. It's like a darker blue in the bottom, if you can tell. So, yeah, man. Let me get into this story. So, if y'all remember doing vlogmas or whatever, I showed y'all where I stayed at, where I live, like my whole driveway my whole little street my whole little cul-de-sac was like flooded i could not get to my house with my car i had to always park up the street so it was flooded it still got water in the cul-de-sac matter of fact and you know how where i stay it's not called an apartment it's not called a house it's it's like a little subdivision like a little townhouse all right so, I called the management, and I'm letting them know all the problems that I'm having as I'm staying here, which is why I don't stay there. Like, it's, that's why I haven't been putting a lot of videos out as of late, because my living is not steady at all. Like, I'm, I'm over here, and then I'm at my old uh, my girlfriend's house, and then I'm at my mom's house. And then I'm just staying from place to place until i can find something else because man the stuff that i'm dealing with okay so let me backtrack i'm getting ahead of my story so y'all seen it was flooded so as the water was going out the drain the drains are clogged up you know from leaves debris and all that stuff from the rain so now that it's clogged up the town anybody plumbers anybody there there has been nobody called despite my complaints right so, I'm telling these people, like, I'm calling the manager. I ain't really getting no resolve coming in. So, starting last week, like, literally, the week after New Year's, when it was still flooded, it was flooded that whole week. Now, matter of fact, I can't use the dryer. It comes with washing dryer, but the dryer doesn't work. So, now, I still have to go to the laundromat go to my mama's house somewhere to dry the clothes. I can wash them, but I can't dry them. Then, the light in my bathroom was out. Can't do that. So, now, as the water is leaving the cul-de-sac, y'all, tell me if I'm tripping. 
But when y'all feel some type of way, I'm not, I'm not paying, I'm not paying my rent. I'm not doing none of that. I'm finna get the junk up out of there. I'm about to get the hell up out of here. The water from the outside is now leaking into the inside. So now the water is coming um from underneath the toilet and out behind the bath, the tub. You feel me? So now to even use the bathroom, I gotta have buckets and plungers. I can't do a number two at my own house where I pay the rent at. So, man, <laughs> whew, the frustration when you got to go down the road to a gas station to do your essentials. Relieve yourself. It's crazy when I'm paying rent at. So, I finally called the emergency hotline. I was like, okay, enough is enough. The emergency number on the lease. Let me see. If I call the head people, you know, I don't want to be no snitch. I don't want to tell nobody, but I'm paying rent. I don't want to get nobody in trouble, but baby, do your job. So I call the people. Guess who they put back on the phone? The same woman I've been trying to talk to the whole time. So now, since this is the weekend. She said she can get somebody out there Monday. Cool. Square business. We can do that. Not even after I hang up the phone. Not even two hours after I hang up the phone with her. I'm in. I'm in. I'm here googling, trying to see how I can get the toilet from clogging up. I'm about to say just forget about it. Let me get in the shower. At least that's one thing that's going right for me. Y'all wanna know what happened? Bro, do y'all wanna know what happened? The shower broke. The handle where you turn the water off completely broke off the shower. Like, I wasn't forcing it. I didn't do anything. Don't say I broke it. Don't say... Nah, I literally went to turn it off. It broke completely off. I could not turn the water off for two hours straight. The tub was about to overflow. Luckily, I had a bucket in there because that's what I was using to use the bathroom to dump the water out before it overflowed. Man, when I tell you it's been constantly problems after problems after problems where I stay with this landlord manager lady. It's crazy. They sent no one. I literally, luckily, and then the crazy part about it is the neighbor that stays across the coast sack from me who having these same problems. Toilets is starting to flood. They shower with they ain't broke. That luckily she had an uncle that, that come fix the uh shower. So I had to pay out my own pocket to get the park to fix the shower and to pay a man to come fix it. Which when Monday come, I'm gonna tell the lady. I need a deduction or something because I'm getting stuff fixed that I'm not responsible for. Like, this is not my house. I'm not paying. I'm not renting to own it. It ain't my house. I shouldn't be doing none of that at all. So, the whole week, the whole weekend, everything has just been full of drama after drama after tragic situations after tragic situations like the crazy part about it was i was in the middle of trying to vlog i should have vlogged this situation so y'all can believe what i'm saying but y'all know when y'all in the middle of frustration you just can't think of nothing like you really just be i really just sit down and just wanted to like literally smoke a cigarette and i don't smoke cigarettes like that's how crazy it was for me but Luckily, I got that fixed. I had to pay out my own pocket, which is crazy. Because, like I said, I'm paying rent. And these... Let me know if anybody else had these problems. Like, literally. Like, when y'all go somewhere... When y'all live somewhere and the management just sucks. Like, they don't never want to fix nothing. Like, it, 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 you seem like... You seem like you bothering them to do their job. You feel what I'm saying? It's just, it's just crazy. It don't make no sense. But... That's why I'm working hard. I'm trying my best to just go get some on my own. That way I ain't have to worry about none of this, man, at all. But, yeah, that's my story. And 
I just had to share it with somebody because I was like, I feel like everybody didn't been through a situation where they was a tenant somewhere and problem after problem kept happening and you feel like it's your fault. They make you feel like it's your fault and it's not their property, all this stuff. But yeah, it's crazy, man. That's why like my videos hadn't been coming out like I wanted to come out. My I'm trying to stay positive. I'm keep trying to do what I'm doing, man, but on top of all that going on, I'm trying to find somewhere else to stay. I'm trying to get videos out. Plus, I still work every day, and I don't get off work to like 5.30 every single day. And since the holidays, y'all know how it go. Like, after holidays, I'm working like six days a week. So, y'all bear with me, man. I'm, I'm still trying to be best as I can with all these dumb. Y'all pray for me, man. Pray for me positive prayers pray for it to come up because man we in this together we in it to win it let's go so man look i ain't gonna keep y'all too long don't get this at taco bell <laughs> i'm just gonna keep it all the way 100 i don't know what this is so yeah this is some plain rice and some grilled chicken like it don't even look it don't even look like they put no season in this like, what's up? Like, ain't no season. Ain't no salsa in that. You could put some sour cream or some some onions or something, you know, zest it up. But, hey, when you try stuff, you ain't, everything ain't going to hit. It's always some misses. This some misses, okay? This is a miss. So, look, man. Thank y'all for watching my video. Thank y'all for letting me vent for the ones that stay this long. Thank y'all for letting me vent. Thank y'all for listening to me. Go ahead and like this video. You know, let me know in the bot in the bottom. Let me know <laughs> it down below in the comments if y'all had a situation where y'all had to deal with y'all landlord slash managers where y'all stay. And they made it feel like it was your fault with everything went wrong. Like, nigga, I pay you for rent. That means you gotta fix everything that go on. That's how it works when you're renting. Let's get that together. When you're renting, none of them fix up or none of the problems are supposed to be on you. That's why I pay you rent for. But we ain't gonna go on all that, man. I didn't say what I had to say. Everybody else. I'm 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 and I'm in a good mood. Cause can't nothing hold me down, can't nothing get me down. You know, this is my year. This is my season. I'm winning this year. You feel me? I'm winning. Yeah. Despite of the, you know, it's always gonna be some step backs. But the comeback. Is the story. You feel me? So, man, let me stop chatting like a chatterbox. Till next video, man. Thank y'all for watching. Stop playing with your girl.